How's it going, everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology, giving you guys your new moon horoscope for Taurus. Taurus, this new moon is happening on Wednesday, November 7th in Scorpio at about 15 degrees, and it's going to be happening in your seventh house. Um, let's kind of get into it. <laughs> um, so Jupiter has been in Scorpio in your seventh house for a while. On this day, he's just a few minutes away from leaving uh, Sag or Scorpio and going into Sagittarius. And I'm bringing a lot of, for these readings, I've been bringing Jupiter and Venus up a lot just because they're kind of, they've been kind of doing some work on your seventh house in Scorpio. And with Jupiter, you know, bringing awareness to things, bringing abundance to things, bringing a lot of things all at once and wanting you to like really have awareness over it. This is in Scorpio where we are talking about the negative things. We are talking about raw emotions that we could possibly hold on to. We are looking at what we want to pursue, what we want to look at, what we're being direct about. Jupiter has been bringing this up in the context of other people, of relationships, you know, who's on your side, who's not on your side. Because although the seventh house has to do with, you know, relationships, marriages, law, you know, stuff like that, it has also to do with open enemies. So Jupiter has been going through this part of your part of your chart, really helping you look at, all right, you know, what do you believe about this person? What's all the nasty stuff that you're seeing about them? What's all of the good stuff that you're seeing about them? And just kind of having it play in your mind for a little while. And Jupiter's probably been manifesting some crazy stuff in your seventh house as far as Jupiter Scorpio people really coming up into you or into your life. But for the past couple of weeks, Venus has been retrograding in your seventh house, and she's even though she was retrograding in your seventh house in Scorpio. She's now retrograded back into Libra of your sixth house, where the sixth house has more to do has more to do with your work, your routine, your habits, your sense of service, your employment, um, things not working, things kind of falling apart. And as Venus retrogrades back into Libra, you guys have been kind of at this point where now you really understand where to place your value into p other people and other things because Venus has been giving you guys a real clear look at what value are you getting from other people is it you know because this is scorpio we are talking about the bottom we are talking about the flat line we are talking about the end all be all we're talking about very specific things um it's in a very specific it's like a laser pointer almost and with venus being in scorpio where she doesn't want to be it's been kind of hard for venus and scorpio to be like oh my gosh maybe you know this person's not helping me out this doesn't look the right way and where do i really need to put my focus and put my all of in terms of value in terms of love and you know gratitude into other people where do you need to put venus retrograde has been really helping you figure out where to exactly put that and it's been helping you uh th through that because it's been showing you the people that are in your life that are there to support you or that are there that you are seeing that you just don't want to be a part of anymore things that are holding you back things that are sticky things that are gooey things that you that aren't clean and so as Venus has been retrograde uh, going through there, you've been having a huge value shift with the people that are in your life. And this is one-on-one -on -one relationships. Not even, this does have to do with marriage, this does have to do with partnership, but just on a one-to-one -one specific individual level, this has been showing a lot. So this past year, a lot of stuff has been really coming up for you in relationships in that context. And this new moon is kind of giving you guys that, okay, this is what you were aware of, this is what came to you this is what you experienced this new moon's kind of like okay now that you've seen all of that now that you've experienced all that it's time to reset those intentions and it's time to actually being specific it's time to start being precise it's time to start really you know i've been saying this on my videos but get like get things dialed into the scope that you want it to be um scorpio is very raw it is very powerful it is very you know revealing in that sense and this new moon is kind of like putting all the focus on this area, putting all the focus right here. And we just had Jupiter finish, like he's just about to finish his transit through Scorpio. Venus just got done retrograding in Scorpio. She's back in Libra where you see the problems, you see how to fix them though. That's the big thing is you see how to fix this. Um, and she will eventually go back through Scorpio in your seventh house. But this new moon's kind of like, hey, what have you realized this year? What have you looked at this year? What has been brought to you this year? What has been good and what has been bad? What is worth holding on to? What is worth letting go of? And as this new moon happens, this is really about seeing people for the way that they are, for the way that they treat you, the way that what they bring to you and what you bring to them and what getting being more specific about what you want out of other people, what that what that balance really looks like. So, I mean, my biggest suggestion with this full, with this new moon in Scorpio is really letting yourself kind of see things for the way that they are, being raw, being real, you know, like I said, dialing in that scope and seeing exactly what you need to see. 
uh, you know, it's not necessarily a microscope, but from a far distance, like I'm use, I've been using the sniper analogy, like that's so Scorpio, just waiting patiently to get the clear and the right shot. This new moon's gonna be that time to kind of like execute that, go for it. You see, you see it clearly now, it's all in a line, go for it now. And so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching all my videos and liking and commenting and sharing and subscribing, and I'll be seeing you for my next video.